We've talked best plays, top performers, even under the radar performances. But let's step back for a second and talk about moments that we might remember in 20 years. Danny, where do you want to start? Of course, I've got to start with the Patriots win. You open up as the underdog. You go in and you crash the defending Super Bowl champions banner party. And the Chiefs, with a statement made, 42 to 27 over the New England Patriots in Foxborough. How about a week later though? I mean, you do all of that in New England. How do you follow that up? You come home, it's your home opener at Arrowhead Stadium. You're facing the Eagles. I don't think any of us realized how big a win that ended up being. Five seconds to go in the game. They pass for the end zone on a Hail Mary, and the Chiefs, it's deflected and knocked away. And the Kansas City Chiefs are two and oh. My most memorable is week 17. So much was made about trading up for Patrick Mahomes. The first quarterback taken in the first round since 1983. Mahomes went out there and played well. He let him down in the last two minutes of the game to win that game. High spinner, good! And the Chiefs have beaten the Denver Broncos on an incredible drive led by rookie quarterback Patrick Mahomes. Well, let's back it up a little bit, though. In week four, Cairo Santos gets hurt. Chiefs have to call in um, Harrison Bucker from the Carolina Panthers practice squad. He misses his first kick. And of course, storybook debut, it ends up. <laughs> He has to kick the game winner and he nails it. 20 tie, high snap, pull down. Butker's kick is up and it's right down the boulevard! And Kansas City stays undefeated! It was hard to not like that guy because of all of the moments that he did provide us this season. But I think the most memorable moment for me was the fact that back to back division titles for the first time. The Chiefs have won the AFC West back to back for the first time. Yeah!